This quick tutorial is about creating and editing eBay listings within Inkfrog using a CSV file. So let's begin by navigating to your library. Now that we're in the library, select the Import button and choose from CSV. In the pop-up, you have the options available to browse for a CSV file you'd like to import, clear previously uploaded items, or download a sample CSV file. The sample file contains all of the available fields, and it's not possible to add custom fields, and even if you add no content to a particular column, all of the columns must remain in the file, along with the headers when creating or editing listings. Let's take a look at the sample CSV file together. The available headers include SKU, Title, Description, Quantity, Price, Images, Option Name 1 through 5, Option 1 through 5, Product Identifier, Product Identifier Type, Brand, and if you've enabled discount pricing and settings in Inkfrog, you'll also have a sale price column available within the CSV file. This sale price refers to strikethrough pricing and not eBay's Markdown Manager. The sample file contains a single product and a product with variants, so let's review both listings. Row 2 is our product that contains two variants. When creating variant listings in the CSV file, the first row contains the eBay title, description, image URLs, option names, option values, product identifier type, and brand, since this information pertains to all variants of the product. To help clarify option name and option values, for example, if you're listing a shirt that comes in multiple sizes and colors, you would fill in option name 1 as color and option name 2 as size. The option 1 would be the actual colors available, and option 2 would be the sizes available. You would create a new row for each possible variation of the product. Since we only have two variants of this particular product, we'll enter the specific information for each variant in its own row. Row 3 and 4 contains unique SKU numbers, quantity, pricing, option values, product identifiers, and sale price if applicable. Now let's move on to row 5, which is a single item listing. This row contains a unique SKU, title, description, quantity, price, images, product identifier, product identifier type, brand, and sale price if needed. If you're creating new products, the SKU must be unique. If you're editing existing products, be sure to leave the SKU as is so that the software knows that you're overwriting existing listing information. To import the file, access your library, select Import from CSV, choose Browse, select your file, then select Upload, and then click the Start Import button. Once the file is done importing, select the listings or select all of the products you would like to import at this time, then choose the Next button. As you can see, the first product on this page is mapped to an existing listing in the library. So, in this instance, we would be updating the existing listing. If you would rather create a new listing, select the Create New Listing tab for this product. The second product we're importing is not linked to an existing listing and will import as a new listing. We do need to select Existing Listing, Shipping, Return, and Payment Profiles or Create New Profiles by selecting the plus button prior to completing the import. Let's go back to the first product for a moment. If you are importing and an existing listing was not detected but you're sure it's there, you are able to manually map it. To do so, select Map Existing, and then choose a corresponding eBay listing. Then when you finalize the import, that product will map to update the existing listing you've chosen. Let's import that first product as new, though, and select our profiles. So since I've selected the four profiles to link the eBay listing information from those profiles to the newly created eBay listings from my CSV file, I can either continue down the list of products and manually select each profile, or if they're going to all share the same profiles, we can simply click the Apply to All button. Select Import Products, and once the import completes, your listings will be within the library where you may perform additional editing or post them to eBay. The maximum number of listings you're able to create or edit in a CSV file is 250. Also, Please remember that if you're using a store connection with Inkfrog, currently Amazon, Shopify, and BigCommerce, that any changes made to your listings that are linked to your store products through Inkfrog will continue to follow your sync settings. 
And if you have any questions at any time, please reach out to our customer care team by selecting the help icon within your account or simply email open at inkfrog.com. Thank you.